Yeah, I think uh, being able to drive in LMS, also starting out a little bit uh, in uh, endurance racing is uh, it's something really cool for me. Uh, it's a new experience, something that I really dreamed of. Uh, and I think it's, you know, it's always cool. You grow up watching, you know, endurance racing and Mans and all these cars and being able to, you know, to drive uh, with these is it's really cool. Also, I'm doing this alongside uh, my uh, Formula One role. And I think that's very important to, you know, keep me sharp. And, you know, it's also not too many races, doesn't clash much. So I, I think it was a, a great combination to, to be able to, you know, combine with that. I think my goals uh, in LMS this season is going to be, I think, just trying to learn as much as I can uh, in this championship. Obviously, you know, it's going to be quite tough at the beginning, you know, learning a new car, a new type of racing as well, much longer races. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, one of the points. And obviously, just staying sharp uh, in case, you know, I need to uh, drive other cars as well. So I think this is a, a good preparation for me. Yeah, it's been a, a really cool uh, first experience uh, with, the, with the LMP2 car. Uh, obviously, it's quite different from anything that I've driven before, but uh, you know, I think it's a really cool car to drive, um, quite fast, I would, I would say, I think faster than what I expected. Um, and yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think first of all, you know, having a roof over your head is already something different, um, but uh, it's, a, it's a really cool car to, to drive and you know, can push uh, basically every lap, and that's, uh, that's really cool. No, I don't think, you know, being, Champion in F2 doesn't make me any any pressure. If it's something, it just brings me confidence. You know, I think uh, you know it just shows uh, I'm here uh, because of my quality in driving, and I'm very happy um, to to be able to feel like that as well. So you know, it just gives me a lot of confidence. I think the level in the championship this year is uh, you know raised the bar quite a lot. So it's it's really cool to see that you know being able to to race with such. Know, good drivers as well. Um, obviously, it's still an endurance championship that you have, you know, silver and you know maybe even uh, bronze drivers, and that's the the cool thing about the championship. You know, you have this such uh, big range of of drivers, and, and also you know drivers have very big uh, different backgrounds. Um, so yeah, that's and that's really cool as well. And I think in a grid of uh, probably. 20 or 22 LMP2 cars, we're going to have 60 drivers and that's, uh, that's really cool to see so many drivers just, you know, competing for, for the same thing. I think, you know, endurance racing uh, compared to Formula car racing, uh, the first difference that you're going to notice is obviously, you know, sharing the car with someone else. So, you know, since the driving position and, and setups, you need to have a compromise with the other drivers as well. Uh, it's not all yours, um, but in terms of driving and, you know, pushing for the race, it can be even like a long race, a four hour race, but at the end of the day in the car, you're just, you know, pushing flat out. So I think in that case, it's pretty similar to, to Formula Racing. I think I just would like to say very big thanks to, to all the fans that have been following me since I was a, you know, little kid. Uh, and obviously going up to the categories through the Formula Leather and now into endurance racing, you know, it's uh, such a pleasure to have this uh, background and this, base you know of, of, of fans which is just amazing they're they're great so many fans from from brazil big obrigado to them because they're they're just amazing